Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a uh, weekly reading for Virgo from the 15th to the 21st of October 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you want a personal reading, I put the details of my email and my website in the description box, so please contact me. I've also put the decks I'm using in the description box as well as links to Amazon and eBay if you want to buy these decks. Um, please uh, don't forget to watch the uh, video series that I'm doing on deck reviews, deck walkthroughs. You might find that interesting. And like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm doing a um, general uh, energy read and then I will do a general tarot read after that. So the main card is Woman of the World and that might be you, somebody who has been through a lot and you've been facing a lot of battles recently and that has caused a lot of confusion as well in your life so uh, you know you've been uh, dealing with um, you know problems uh, that you've been facing but you've got the know-how and the skills to actually deal with it but it has left you a bit confused as to what to do in the situation so in the past you've got the a brown haired woman and home so maybe somebody in your family it could be a sibling it could be uh, some female member of your family uh, um, bring, presenting some situation you've been dealing with this person recently uh, they've been causing some blocks in your life maybe um, not doing what you want them to do or not behaving uh, like they you know like you want them to maybe you've had a breakdown in a bit of communication with this person as well they're not allowing you to do something you can see she's got a hand up and she's stopping something so something carrying on within the home life uh, where somebody's presenting a little bit of a problem or causing you some delays or grief in in the home um, going to the future, you've got hope. Um, so looking forward into the future um, for something new to happen. Uh, you know, maybe you want a relationship to work out and you're hoping that that goes well. So you've got a couple over here looking into the future. Maybe you want to get married. Uh, maybe you want some sort of a permanent relationship with somebody. So you're hoping that that comes through. You've been working, uh, you know, you've got diligence over here. So working very, very hard. Maybe you're working very, very hard at this relationship to make it flourish, to make it successful. On the other hand, you could just be working really, really hard and that coming in with work, uh, panning for gold. You can see this person sitting in the sun panning for gold. So working really hard for very, very little returns. And that might be the thing that's going on as well. So that's the energy for that week. Okay, so I have shoveled these cards. I'm just going to draw some. Okay, so the main situation is the nine of cups over here. So you've recently gotten some sort of windfall or something good has come in for you. Uh, abundance coming in for you because you can see this person's enjoying this meal over here. Maybe you've had some sort of get together with family, um, you know, a lot of happiness, love, joy. Maybe you haven't gotten together with, um, you know, sharing um sharing emotions with people, uh, a gathering, some sort of celebration that you have um, attended because of all the food and celebration and all the wine. So there might have been a bit of overindulgence over there uh, and, you know, some sort of something that you've been enjoying quite a bit. So that seems to have come to pass recently. Maybe you're celebrating a promotion or something like that, but something really uh, big has come in for you and there's a lot of joy and happiness, a wish fulfillment that has come in for you. And I say that because you've got the celebration card over here, you've got the victory card over here, and you've gotten some sort of accolade, uh, recognition. So this is probably why all the celebration is going on, some victory that you're celebrating. Whatever you wished for, you got, and now you're in high spirits because you've gotten awards, a lot of public recognition, uh, job well done, uh, a lot of victory coming in for you. So... And uh, you've been working with a lot of people to achieve this thing. So you've got, uh, this was the final hurdle that you had to cross. And it seems like you've had help and support uh, in order to get over it. And you seem to have won because you've got the six of wands, 
the nine of um, rods usually talks about that final battle uh, that you had to fight and you were like really weary of fighting it uh, but you seem to have been very victorious over it because that's crossing it and you've also got the nine of cups over here so that seems to have been some sort of celebration for uh, something that you have achieved something that you've overcome so in the past year, you've gotten, uh, looks like the Page of Pentacles, a new job that has come in for you. Um, you know, you had to work really hard uh, at this, and it was um, something that you've just started. Uh, this looks like the gnome family, so, you know, they're really diggers, people that work hard with the earth. So you've been working really, really hard at this new job uh, that you started probably in this last year. And you can see uh, you've reached this point where, you know, this work has paid off, money has come in in the last three three months. You've got the Three of Pentacles over here. You've got this child carrying all this money, all this work uh, tools on the table. So you've been working really hard, collaborating with people, but you've gotten a lot of recognition from them. Um, and, you know, you've learnt a lot and a lot of money coming in with this particular job in the last three months. <coughs> so maybe this is a celebration of a promotion that you've been... Um, you've had or it might be you know that you've had some sort of project that you've been working on with people and it has had a successful outcome and hence the celebration and you've been very tied to that job it's taken up all your time and space and energy and it's been you know it's almost been like your lover so something that you've been working with very very hard and it's just kept you there uh you know um it's been it's taken over your life and that's all you've been doing in this last uh few months and that's been on your mind only the only thing that's in your mind uh you know it's been keeping you trapped because the devil card is ruled by saturn and saturn does rule work so this is a card that is showing that you've been really focused on this work on trying to acquire this money or in trying to acquire this uh position or uh, you know working very very hard at this job all hours um you know, it's been very, very focused on it. You've been feeling very, very trapped as well. And it looks like, you know, you've had some help where people have come and, um, you know, you might have been facing some difficult situation and somebody's come and helped you uh, sort those problems out. So you've had help sorting those problems out and getting yourself unstuck from that situation. So somebody has helped you uh, see the light, walk away from a situation that you, you know, a problem that you couldn't solve. Somebody's helped you come and solve that problem. And maybe that's why you've had victory. So you yourself are very, very happy about what has happened. This is you. Uh, you are, you know, you have overcome. Uh, maybe there was competition, and you have been victorious. Uh, and you know, you have, be you've, you've won in that particular situation. Uh, and everybody else, all the competition has like sort of slinked away. And uh, you know, you are there holding um, your swords off. Um, you know showing the victory you are you have conquered whatever you have you are a person who has managed to sort out that problem or sort out the situation and you are quite victorious in it and you know uh, around you people see that you are getting in new money coming in so whatever it is this might be a promotion uh, maybe you've uh, um, put down all the competition and you've gotten this new job and you are holding it up there maybe you are lording it over everybody else telling telling everybody how good you are this is maybe why they're a bit you know they could be a bit pissed off about the whole thing but you definitely have gotten this new job it might be a new promotion that you've gotten and you are very very thrilled to be in that position and you're in position of leadership it seems so you have uh, conquered uh, that's all the competition and they've actually slinked away gone away and there you are with this new job and you are uh, in a very very high leadership position and earning a lot more money as well and this is something that you've been going for for a long time so you've been vying for this post uh, and it's now a wish fulfillment something uh, that you've gotten that you are really really happy with and you're earning a lot of money and you're very very financially independent as well and in a in a very very authoritative position as well and things moving pretty fast for you also so you know things are not stagnant you are really on the get up and go and you're making things happen so you've achieved something really important um and you know you are hoping that this wheel of fortune continues turning and you know you are making sure that you are time managing properly you're worried about time as well with this wheel of fortune and you want all the bad luck or anything that you've had to go away and and you know this luck to keep coming in that's what your hopes are so going into the future you've got the ten of pentacles and the Queen of Cups, and you have got um, 
the four of uh, pentacles as well. So with the ten of pentacles, it looks like a major, major achievement. You've got a chest full of money over here. So there was a big promotion that came in. And now you're going to be investing that money into something, uh, maybe real estate, uh, you know, buying a new house, um, moving your family around. Uh, but definitely ha you've accumulated all you know, a really good windfall, a good position, um, because this 10 is showing, you know, it's the end of the old cycle has gone away of luck, and now a lot of abundance has come in for you. So, you know, maybe a, a promotion, and you're starting a new phase, a new journey of your life, and your work life, especially. And with the Queen of Cups, it looks like, you know, she's at the top of her game over here, so you're pretty much happy, you're very happy about whatever happened. She's got a big cup, so you're very, very emotionally fulfilled as well, by whatever situation you've achieved. So whatever job, promotion it has made you extremely happy and you know you are sitting over there um in a, a really uh, authoritative position as well with this queen uh sitting on this throne so you are in a very high post as well earning a lot of money as well with it and you know all that negativity that you have you are protecting what is yours and you're cutting away all the things that are not serving you now so you're getting rid of things that are not maybe things and people that are no longer serving you you're telling them to basically take a hike and you are going to be moving forward. You still have a lot of money, so you're still concentrating a lot on this work situation. A lot of focus is going on the work, but you and you are working hard. This man is clutching this to his chest. So this is something that you are really focused on. You're not really focused on anything else. Maybe this has become, you know... Uh, your obsession in your life you're a little, a little bit obsessed with this work and you're you're spending a lot of time focusing on that but you know you need to also be balanced so as much as you want to focus on this and you're taking out all this cutting out those things that are negative that are not serving you all those negative thoughts or those negative people or that negative situation and you're protecting and and thinking a lot about the money and and managing it properly you also need to have time to relax so that, you know, um, you do have a balanced life and you don't become just obsessed in one kind of direction. So having a victory sorted through problems and things are all working out with this Ten of Pentacles over here, achieving that material success that you have been working so hard to, for, for achieving a victory. So probably a promotion that you've been going for, um, you know, everybody else um, has not managed to get to where you were and there is a lot of celebration coming in you've had that one last obstacle and you've sorted it out and you will now uh, be reaping the rewards of that um, situation so this is from the uh, archangel the angel tarot and you've got the magician you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical so with a, ma a magician you know uh, it's a card that shows a lot of work but it shows a lot of you know you're very busy multitasking doing a lot of things at one time everything is up in the air so you've got a lot of projects going on and um you know you are very very busy and very very focused on that particular work and things are going your way. You've got the five of water. Things are not turning out the way you hoped. Uh, not seeing the positive of a situation. Crying over spilt milk. So whatever problems you had in the past, you need to put it behind you and walk away from it. Uh, you know, there's no need for this uh, thinking about the past and reminiscing about the past and your past losses. Focus on the present because everything is going your way right now. And you need to stop thinking that things are going to be negative. So cut the negativity out. Um, especially with this... Um, with this four of pentacles, you do need to cut off negativity. And you need to cut out, um, you know, thinking that you're going to be in a situation of lack. Because you are not. You are actually, you're actually making it right now. So, uh, with the magician card. So, you need to stop, get out of that phase of thinking of lack and think of abundance. So, you've got the queen of earth. Uh, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind, understanding way. So, the last card of year is the um, queen of earth, which is showing, you know, in a position of abundance, and you've got the Queen of Pentacles as well. And this is what people are seeing you as, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Earth. And you have made it. You are in that position, and that money is in your hand, and it is coming to you. You can see this queen also has got a lot of coins. You can see it's only money. So right now, you, are, you have manifested, or you are in the process of manifesting this money. And she's got it in her hand, so it's not something that's in the air, it's in your hand. So it will come into your hand. So stop thinking about lack of abundance or failure or negative thoughts, because everything that you've ever wanted is now coming into your hand. And, you know, you've got this ten of pentacles over here, so it's coming into the chest. You'll be able to invest this money, save money. You'll be able to do a lot with that money. But don't get into a position where you're becoming miserly and you're not, um, you know, 
you're so focused on the luck that you don't realize that you have the abundance in your hand. So that is an important thing, so that you know you you live a balanced life. Uh, remember, as much that goes out must come in. So if you've gotten a lot coming in, you must also put out into the world. So make sure that you are keeping that balance going in order for this abundance cycle of abundance to continue as well. So uh, I hope that this re reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Now take care. Goodbye.